Hello and welcome back to the Nerds Are Us channel. My name is Foxy and I'm joined by Anya and we are back again with another We Try. Last time around we tried the Tokyo Treats uh, March box. Oh, the March box. And this time around we are back again with another Tokyo Treat, treat box. But this time it is the April, April box. box. So we skipped the month. <laughs> so, well... Yeah, the reason why there was a gap is that we went on to try the uh, Japan Cray. Japan Cray. Didn't particularly but, like but it we as didn't much. Like it. So we so. decided to go back with Tokyo Treats. <laughs> so the Tokyo Treat box, the way they work is you go on, you order whichever you want. You want the month's box, you pay for the one month. You want three months, you pay for the three months, but you pay for it in one go. Now, we just tried the one month box, and the way it is is that if you order a box in January, you'll get the February box, regardless of whether it arrives in January or February. If you order in February, you get the March box. They're a month ahead. That's just the way it works. Now, I had ordered the March box in February and it arrived, and it was great. We both loved it. But um, I forgot to cancel my subscription and I ended up ordering the April box, which it ordered itself on the tour and it's only the eight and it's already here. So it's very, very quick. So yeah, I was quite pleased with that. So it was like five days. Now nice. that is including the weekend, but it doesn't matter. It arrived within... It's a very quick turnaround. So, like, if you're ever looking for a quick delivery, then Tokyo Treats is the way to go. Um, but now the price of this box is on the website. It is thirty five dollars, but that's per month. Now, if you were to do the three months, you save four fifty. You pay for the three months, you save four fifty instead of paying thirty five every month. I think it's thirty. 450 or 3350 but it was $35 and then it is $12 uh, postage but when it transferred into euro it came to 40 so it was fine 40 euro it's absolutely fine I don't mind paying that considering you're getting 17 items in it they do different sizes don't they yeah or is it just one this is the box? premium that you can get the classic box, which is $42, but you don't get a drink and you don't get team snacks. You only get a couple of snacks. Whereas with this one, you get 17 items and it's, in my opinion, it's worth the money anyway. It has the stuff you get in it. Now, the Japan crate I got worked out with, like, worked out dearer than this. And it was a longer shipping time plus I didn't really enjoy the stuff that was in it. There was maybe four things in a box that consists of 19 items. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. Not in my opinion. Not but for the price that was paid. Like then it. again, we should, could have just gotten a poor month. You know? It could be better a different month. But mm. I paid two euro more for that. And I enjoyed less of the items. And the problem as well is that that was with free shipping. I still paid more than I paid for Tokyo Treat. And I enjoyed Tokyo Treat. I'm hoping I'll enjoy this one. But anyway, let's roll on. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Until ah, Boom. Yeah. There you I'll go. It. Some stuff. Now I'll put the box over here. Get it out of the way. I shall take them. We do know a few items that are going to be in the box because it tells you on the website. So. Yeah, it's all soccer season. So related. It's April. So. And anyone who does follow along with the like with the, the Tokyo treats uh, they may advertise what what was coming up one was definitely a drink wasn't it the, the pink, yeah, pink 
Ramen. Yeah, the first item we have here is the popcorn. Well, it should be in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm just going to see. Oh, this Mike's. part. Oh, All right, right. Yeah, the Mike Classic cell. So I think they're just coming to there. Oh, oh. Well, we shall try it and see if we enjoy it. Mmm. Oh. No. It's more of a savoury popcorn. You know, it's less um, salty than. It's not even that, it's just. I know popcorn is fairly like poofy, but like, like air. It's more air. Oh, yeah. It, it's like I like that though. Like there's less substance to it. Yeah, oh. I give that um, and maybe an eight. An eight out of ten. Now, next, we have what is this? What you got? Balls, maybe. Onion taro snacks. Oh, wait. So it's a savory corn snack. Um, that's what it says. So. Oh, I don't like the smell of that. Anyway. I know. Well, one for you. Uh, one for me. So bad. Yeah. Um. It gives a bit of an aftertaste, but even the aftertaste is not bad. It's actually not bad. It, it's. I'm trying to give a good compar uh, comparison. So it's very, so it is onion flavored anyway, but the, the texture is very like uh, meanies. If you're Irish, you'll know meanies, but. Uh, the flavor to... is a little different though. I like it. Yeah. It's like a, a spice. It tastes like a spice that you yeah. pour onto food, you know? It's a bit more on the onion side. Yeah. I know it's an onion snack, but it's a bit more on the onion side than it is anything else. Yeah. Um, how do we go? I don't know. So that is yeah. sugar rusks. The umai sugar rusks. So. I think it's animating. It looks like something from an anime. Uh, no, it just looks like a mascot. Japan do love their mascots over there. Ooh. They love anything that's like, uh, like, a corn, okay. like a corn snack. It's like chickadees meat with sugar. Ah. It's kind of a little bit bland, to be honest. I, I don't like that. It, it, yeah. Yeah. It, it, I've passed. <laughs> I would. Yeah, for those that don't know, this is our. Uh, we're doing this in Ireland. And yeah, so I'm going to be using references to snack food from Ireland. That is a tempura fried lemon squid snacks. Well, I'm gonna hate this because I hate fish. So it's probably just gonna be a prawn cracker, basically. Tilda. Yeah. Um, it's very lightly colored, anyway. 
Yeah, it's like a pastel orange. So mm, it presents itself like it's a lemon lemon snack. Well, it is a lemon snack. But... Okay. Look, I'm gonna leave this to you because there's only one thing. Wow, that's very lemony. Cover. Yeah, well, no. No? No, if you're oh. if you're doing that then yeah. The lemon is is so like prominent. Prominent and uh overpowering. And then you get that squid taste of mm. rank. Yeah. Apart from the that, uh, is there anything in comparison? Like that'd be close. No, it's basically like if you took a lemon scented wipe and sucked on it. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. I don't think I can compare it to. Not that I've done that, but it just that's what I think of. I do find it funny that like any other video that you see like of people trying these things, it's always like it's very positive and this. Yes, no, I'm, like, I'm giving weird. you my honest my my honest reaction, okay? I never heard that comparison before. <laughs> it's like it's taking a lemon wet wipe and just like sucking on it. Yeah. Oh, you're, this is all you. This is a curry turtle cracker. Okay. Like, light like crunchy, crunchy and spicy. spicy. These the perfect crackers to spice up your cherry blossom viewing party for Japanese curry fans. So. Yeah. Because it screams curry. Reasons. <laughs> no. And I don't even eat curry. And I, no. No. Uh, no. Not bad. No. You just taste that curry. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like it actually. I'm like. <laughs> oh, is it actually going to be a snack though? <laughs> you actually finish? Mm -hmm. I ain't touch it. Not happen. Baby. Yeah. Man, what this is like. So. That one is a new it it's actually in the title. A new mochi taro. Hmm. And the caption for it is Spring is all about new beginnings. But we're looking into the past with this awesome retro snack. These crunchy crackers have a simple saltiness that is super addictive. Okay. I get what the boxes are supposed to be like tiny, like like smaller so you can fit more in it, but like they really love their like small packaging. Yeah. You have to start trying some of the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. There's a tiny bit of salt and I don't know, I'm trying to think. Oh flog. I think so. <laughs> That's deadly. Which one was on? A green. Oh that uh there a mushroom. Mushroom. And the caption, soft, light, and fluffy, like Sakura, Mashro makes the perfect light Japanese marshmallow snack for any sweet tooth. <laughs> so, for those that can't see, it's like a light green, with green and yellow packaging. It looks like a twister. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> well, it, I put you off. What were you saying? 
Mm-hmm. And uh, cracker. Oh, the cracker. I, I just, I was trying to think like why, uh, like a comparison, like yeah, with some of the foods that we've had. It smells like a marshmallow. Oh, Mm. Yeah, yeah. it's literally just a flog, like a marshmallow yeah. flog. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> that goes here instead of like over there. Are these most of stuff here? Marshmallows. Oh, now we have full on marshmallows. Okay. They are the Sakura Latte marshmallows. <laughs> latte marshmallows. Yeah, they're shaped like flower petals. As the caption reads for this, week, we're getting major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors Sakura Pink and Sakura Latte White. Enjoy them on their own or as a topping for sweets and drinks. Take one of each. Oh, Oh, they're super soft. Yeah, they're so soft. Not taking too many of because in case we want to use them for there. (laughs) I probably will. But white one first. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. She has a nice flavor to it. Yellow, uh, yellow, uh, pink. pink. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now they're they're super nice. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh, yeah, like you you taste this straight away. Like normally when you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, when you have a uh, marshmallows, they, they take a few bites before you actually start to taste it. Mm. But with them, they're straight away. Uh, yeah, that is, oh, that one, that one is a boom, 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 boom. It's a mini monster gummy. Oh, the caption reads as this: "The winter blues still got you down. Get a sour spring shock with this fruity, soft monster gummy." That will help you get into the spring mood. Ooh. Are you reading them like in the morning? I don't know. <laughs> Heard the sound a bit better. I don't know. Uh, mm. Oh, straight away. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. I'm not a big fan of like strawberry. Of, I'm not a big fan apple, of sour, but like that is really lemon. nice though. That's what I'm assuming. Strawberry, apple, lemon, and orange. Yeah. Orange and lemon. Yeah, come on. So if you want, you can do. It. Yeah. Well, mm. that's gorgeous. It leaves a lovely, refreshing aftertaste. <laughs> so definitely, like the orange is more the, the peelings, yeah. yeah, than the actual orange itself. But really it's actually, fruity and yeah, really it's actually really nice, refreshing. I like that. So if you can definitely find that somewhere, like you, you'll you will enjoy. Banana. Like. Banana. Banana. Banana man. <laughs> That's what it's called. I am not lying. That is actually why it's called Banana Man. Banana Man is here to join your soccer party. Inside this fluffy Japanese banana marshmallow. You'll find plenty of chocolate sauce that will have you craving for more. 
So yeah, green, yellow. With, but with a with banana mascot on the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> with, <laughs> a, a tiki. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> it, it smell like the smell is very strong. Uh, I, I, won't, I won't go mad for it. Do you know what it tastes like? You know the banana sweets you can get for Alex in the shop. Oh, the the white at the top, so, the yellow with the got. So for anyone from Ireland that like like sweets, the the hard banana candy that you can get. Mm. Like they're like marshmallow, hard marshmallow candy. Um, so that'd be the closest that we can actually come up with. With a little bit like chocolate, as it seems, chocolate in the middle. I don't like the outer layer. Like, no, it's kind of like, um, it's like a. It's like it was coated in a film. No, I, I don't like that. That's it's not bad. I, I find that that actually puts me off it because, like, the marshmallow and the chocolate together are actually nice. Well, the, I the, the banana. Of those things. Oh, the like make your own curry kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, for anyone that didn't see our last one, it's a uh, ramen shop taro snacks. So basically, these ones are essentially something that you can like actually DIY. Yeah, they're DIY, and you can add hot water to it. Another giant chickadee. So. Yeah, we know. Um, Which one you, is that? You can, you can put on. That is um, your Mybo cheese. Oh, it's a cheese one. It's a really strong cheese. I've one. already tried this, so I'm not going to try it again because I know what it tastes like. So. So for anyone that didn't watch our previous video, it is very it's it is a chickadee, uh, but it's just packed. Uh, actually, it's not a chickadee. It's a Cheeto. A Cheeto. Cheeto would be the closest comparison mm -hmm. I could give you. Fruit donuts. That's what it's called. Yeah, fruit fruit donuts gummy. Cool. Not donut donuts. What does it say about it? Can't get enough of fresh and fruity spring flavors? Then you have to try this super cute Japanese gummy. If donut shape doesn't convince you. It's like it just stopped after that. If it, donut it, shape. Really, it really does. Oh, it's like. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Smell is very strong. So, Sweet and sour. So this you know could I mean? be like those, like the peach rings that we. Yeah, oh no, the peach rings. Out. Oh, don't like the smell coming from it though. I do find that the smell has put me off on some a good few of these things. Well, cool. try one bit. Yeah, I'll bite. Halfway. Wow. Basically, the apple. Yeah, they're. Mm. The. The tangy. Yeah. It wasn't in your first choice. No. Yeah, so essentially they're like the uh, the tangy apple or the peach rings that, that you can get in certain, like so your local pound shop or... Or, or a dollar tree. Yeah. In America. Well, not too bad. Snacku cracker. That's what it says. There we go. Sankaku vegetable crackers. Yeah, but that's what it says. Sankaku. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
<laughs> you went snuck snuck a coup. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vegetable cracker. Yeah. Ready for some salty veggie flavored crackers. These cute triangle crackers are super crunchy and addictive. You won't want to share them at the Hanami party. Oh. Oh, that's funny. They're so cute. No. That's no. Okay. What what is it? The the name but I can't think of the snack that we have we got. Mm. Are they? Pretzels. <laughs> yeah, know. like pretzels, but like they they're exactly like them. I can't think of them actually. I don't mm. know. And then it'd be, I don't know, I, I can't give a comparison, like, so. Not sure. Mm. I've had them before. Mm. They're like, you know, the not uh, nice crackers, like, the, you know, what's the name of them? Or the, the nice crackers. They're like spelt like nice. I just can't think of them. Mm. It's been a long time since I had them, but I've had them before. They're quite nice. They're all right, though. They're not bad. If you like kind of a punchy flavor, they're not bad. I think we're almost, we're almost we're done. We're almost done. We have three items left. Mm -hmm. Three or four. The three main ones that are actually being advertised for as well. Yep, that's it. That's the three we have. So. so you have Pringles. And I know what flavor this is. It's like fried chicken flavor. So it's like a hot pink uh, can. So. See, that's one of the things I meant to say this before, but that's one of the things I really like about oh, Tokyo treats. Is that um, a lot of the a lot of the snacks are like smaller, but that's just how they're packaged. Whereas a lot of them are full snack like like uh pringles you could buy in the shop like a full can you know japanese fried chicken flavor mm. there's a musty at hanami parties and we're bringing it to you in the limited edition pringles form Made with plenty of plenty of onion and garlic flavoring. Yeah, you can get definitely get that. It's actually quite nice. I was wondering what it was. Mm. While I was speaking there, I was just like, mm. I guess some other taste, but I can't figure it out. Yeah, it's nice. The garlic actually really helps it. Mm. So it's actually quite nice. So I, I definitely recommend it if you, if you can somehow get your mm. hands on it. Which one do you want to do last? We'll keep the drink for last. That'd be the main event. So <laughs> now we have the limited edition Kit Kat Sakura. Sakura. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, it's beautiful bag. Beautiful packaging. Oh, that's cute. They're gonna have some kind of thing going on. Mm. I'm gonna shoot that right there. I really don't want to rip the bag, so I'm trying my best not to. Not to look like rip the picture. I mean, when we tried the last one, the last we one had was the peach. so gorgeous. The peach ones were so nice. What does it, what does it say about them? Yeah. Uh, spring limited edition soccer Kit Kats. The only thing better than elegant Kit Kat soccer chocolate is that Nestle Japan donates 10 yen for every bag of sakura line, tree one room. An NPO that plants sakura trees in areas affected by the Tohoku earthquake. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, 
like our last Tokyo Tree box, the uh, Kit Kats were gone. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> so like the last Tokyo, like with the last box that we did try, uh, we got the Kit Kats, which were peach, peach parfait, peach, peach parfait, and it looked exactly the same, which which is a pink, pink color. Mm. Unusual, isn't it? That's like a white chocolate mixed with something else. Cherry. Maybe. Or cranberry. It's something anyway. Mm. But yeah, it's actually really nice though. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. last. And this was the, the one. Sakura that... Ramun. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Anyway, like when they're advertising, it looks like a small tank and it's actually a full bottle. Yeah. And glass. Glass. So for anyone that's never had a Ramoon, it, you do be surprised because you break the seal. Whoop. Japanese festival favorite. You get the cap. Is here. It's and if you've Japanese. ever done it before, press down. If only it worked the first time. <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Hey, so, it's helping the tree fly. Take the cap off. Place it in. Fantastic. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but we do forget that in transport, it's been shaking around a bit. So it's going to explode. Oh, it smells nice though. Do, 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 do. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Hmm. It's not bad. Mm, I like it. I like it as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like mm. Don't know what they what they mean when they say cherry blossom, but it's actually very nice though. I really like it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's never used a Ramun uh, bottle. Does it like a ball? It's that's... a glass ball that prevents pre prevents it from draining too much. So, mm. no, but that seems to be it. Uh, that is the last of it, and obviously they give you a couple of information packets about. Either upcoming quiz, uh, not quizzes, but uh, they give you a code basically to start your, uh, as it were, membership. And the more the more you continue with them, the better chance you have of uh, gaining gaining extra goodies on future boxes. So it, it's they kind of entice you to better to stick with them for the next few months. So, so if that's what you're into, if you really, really enjoy the, the food, the snacks that are in it, and, this, and the information booklet for. This is what I'm saying. You get one, two, three, uh, four, three, and the drink includes four full-sized 
snacks, which is great considering, like, you know, you could probably buy all of this yourself, but when are you going to be in Japan, you know, if you are if you live abroad, it's very difficult to go over there, so, mm. you know, it's really, really good value when you think about it, and how much you're getting, and the, the food is gorgeous, so. Now, all in all, I will say that this box, in comparison to the previous one we've tried, was a lot better. Oh, absolutely. I actually enjoyed this one a bit more. I know I complained a good bit, but this was actually a better hero for stuff that we'd actually eat. Mm -hmm. but, Probably the majority of this box, so... Mm. But, I will be. <laughs> but even without that, like if you're ever interested in getting it, please go to TokyoStreets.com. You can go and get your order your box there. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, uh, we hope you did, and hopefully we'll we'll see you again in the next one. I've been Foxy. This has been Anya, Bye. and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.